my face that picks up the whole camera. Wow. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel where today we're going to be reviewing some boom boom if you didn't already tell some high protein snacks now if you're like me and you hit the gym three to four to five times a day you don't really have enough time to be cooking so you want protein on the go you know as fast as possible no bs no bs no maybe scrambled it no i don't have time for that maybe put a toast in the toaster nope no time for that either so if you're looking for high protein snacks look no further because you found this video so without further ado, let's just jump right into the review. And first up we have the kind protein toasted caramel nut. 12, oh my day, there's 12 grams of protein in this. Plant protein as well. Plant, plant protein. What does that mean? Does that mean? 12 grams of plant protein so it goes into you and then you plant protein in your in your stomach and then it becomes more protein so there's like 144 grams of protein in this oh my days oh wow i hit finger supersets yesterday yeah i don't think i can open these i hit too many finger supersets mm -hmm. all right let's see mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. damn Damn, that's pretty good. Wow, that is so, so sweet though. Oh my. Mm, what would I give that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's probably like a nine. Nine out of ten. Damn, that's, that's not even that bad. That's pretty good. Okay, that's a good start. So next up we have, what shall we go with next? Let's go with this. The Nature Valley Protein Peanut and Chocolate. 10 grams of protein, two grams less and also gluten free oh my god <laughs> what the shiatsu okay no this is 10 out of 10 and this is 7 oh no 7 <coughs> out of 10 now this is a first on Thayan reviews this one was so good i had to delegate and relegate this one back to here bro there you go, love relegation. Get out of here. Get him out of here. Next up, we have the Ita Natural. Oh, for flip's sake, I didn't even read it. With chocolate and orange. I flipping hate orange. Ah, 26 grams of protein per 100 grams. So there's 11 grams of protein in this, in this bar right here. What a useless fact. Why not just say 11? Who who cares per 100 grams? What am I going to flip and measure it out and eat it or something? What do I look like? Alright, let's go. Mm -hmm. Flip's sake. Flipping hell, I should have read it. 6. 6 out of 10. I mean, it has the potential to be better, to be honest. <clears throat> it's just that I bought the orange flavor because, you know, uh, as a normal, as a normal human being, I saw brown. I saw that it looked brown, so uh, I didn't think that brown was gonna represent orange. You know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, may maybe they need to rename the orange so that it has a more specific name for its color or something. You know, make it clearer. Okay, next up we have the knacked, whoopsh, the knacked, peanut delight. I have a feeling I've tried this before. Oh yeah, I did try this before, did I? And I on the vegan one, I tried this on the vegan one. I left a good impression in my uh, subconscious memory of uh, chocolate bars, so hopefully it's good. Let's shake it out. Ah, oh, for flip sakes, this is the dense one, isn't it? Oh god, god damn it. Eight and eight, probably an eight out of ten. Out. Oh wait, what the? Fifty-three percent dates, forty-six percent peanuts. Then why is it called peanut delight then? What? Date delight would have been what? The alliteration would have been there as well, and it's mostly dates. I don't believe this. Nah, this is some absolute nonsense. What did I say? Eight. Give it a seven. Take one off because of that. The hell, why not just call it date delight if it's 56% dates? 
Okay, next we have the... How did this get in here? Wait, this is just a flat... <laughs> Look at my flipping fat ass! I just bought a flapjack bar for no reason, it's not even high in protein. Well, edit that part out. Oh my days, finally, finally a chocolate bar. A protein bar for me. The oh, Flipping, I've been sick and tired of these low IQ chocolate bars. Finally, I have a PhD smart. Flipping out. Wow, that is promising. 20 grams of protein. 0 0.6 grams of sugar. Wow. Wow, 0 0.6 grams of impact carbs. Whoa. Palm oil free. Wait. Wait, what is palm oil? Ooh, the smell test is promising. What flavor is this? Caramel crunch? Okay. Perfect. Hold on a second. What the? Why is that so good? <laughs> Oh my day. <laughs> Pet smart bar. I can't lie. You guys did a great job. Absolutely brilliant job. If you're not lying to my face, and if it's actually 20 grams of protein and 0 0.6 grams of sugar. Oh, there's. Okay, there's, the, there's a catch. It's coated with sweetener. I mean, to be fair, sugar will give you diabetes right now. Sweetener, who knows what it's gonna give you? Maybe flipping an unknown disease in like 10 15 years. I don't care about 10 15 years, I care about right now. No sugar means I can get these rock hard abs, oh, these washboard abs. Who cares what happens on the cellular level? If my cells are dead, I don't care. Do I have rock hard abs? Yes, I don't care about my dead cells. Absolutely brilliant job. 10 out of 10, boy me. Look at the size of the protein in that one. Next up, we have the grenade. The carb killer. High protein bar. So this has 22 grams of protein per bar. Absolutely brilliant. 2 grams of sugar per bar. Sounds promising. What flavor is this? White chocolate. Ooh, white chocolate cookie. Damn. A damn. Did someone say a damn? Let's see. Wow, that is zeer good, see. Damn. But if I, I heard flipping, but I've always heard protein bars are disgusting and they don't taste good at all, but these two taste absolute. Well, these three right here, whoop, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. These three right here, oh my days. If we're being honest, this one's, <laughs> this one's a bit of a, you know, it's uh, it slid its way in this. It's a borderline protein bar, you know? It just says protein. 10 grams of protein, that's solid. But compared to these tank beast protein bars. Okay, time for the fan. Top picks. Okay, come to number six. Number six, number six. We have the Eat Natural Protein Pack. Flavor wise, it was a six. Protein wise, it was a five. So that balances out to, I think we gave it a six. I completely forgot what we gave it. Coming in at number five. Number five. Number five. Give me a number five. Number five. You number five. 50, 50, 55, 45, 50, 50. We have the toasted caramel nut with white. With what is looking like white stuff on it. Now that I'm noticing there's suspicious white stuff on it. I did not know this before I ate. I should have looked. Made by kind protein. If you are a vegan or something like that, or vegetarian or vegan or something like that, I made a vegan video and this one should have been probably in it. 
and this one's 12 grams plant based protein it plants into your stomach and then gives you more protein i don't know if that's true that's just a theory that i'm running right now i'm gonna go with it i think we gave this a 6 out of 10 i'm not sure i keep forgetting it was a 6 out of 10 maybe and then what happened 6 out of 10 6 for flavor and 7 for the amount of protein in it that definitely doesn't average out to whatever we gave it six or seven but you know with that uh, with this is not a maths channel i don't know how to do maths coming in at number four number four number four we have the knacked peanut delight and uh this one right here angered me very much to find out that is 53 percent dates and 46 percent peanuts whoa what does 53 plus 40 is that 99? 99%! What is the other 1%? And this one, you have to graduate from MIT with a flipping masters in maths to figure out how much protein is in it for some reason. Oh wait, it says 13.6 grams slash 4.8, so there's 4.8 in this bar. Nice. So this one gets a, a 4 for, or 3 for protein quantity and then gets a seven for flavor what does that average out to like five or something or six why is it up here then move this back down to here i my whole system's messed up all right now let's get to the big boys the big boy well, not yet no yeah okay we skipped ahead of ourselves number three number three number three number three have the protein peanut and chocolate by nature valley 10 grams of protein so a five of ten out of ten for protein quantity and then a 10 out of 10 for flavor but a very biased 10 out of 10 because it tastes very good so that skews it all the way up to the top all the way keep it on the 10 10 out of 10 this stays 10 out of 10 okay now we're at the big boys the do it big boys right here we have the whoops, grenade 20 a whopping 22 grams of protein per bar with only two grams of sugar my goodness what the shiatsu what kind of elite cooking did they do with this so this gets a 10 out of 10 for protein quantity and a 10 out of 10 for flavor so this gets an overall of nine i'm joking i got you there i'm not that bad the maths this gets a 9.5 um i got you guys twice it gets a 10 it's actually pretty good am i pretty good it's pretty good if you don't care about the absolute weird ass chemicals they probably have in here as sweeteners then this is a chocolate i would recommend protein bar would recommend next up we have the chocolate bar specifically made for me it's the phd smart so this has 20 grams of protein for me 20 is the minimum you get 20 grams of protein that's a 10 out of 10 for protein and a 10 out of 10 whopping 10 out of 10 for flavor as well absolutely delicious now what to be honest i can't really decide between these two uh they're very very nice both of these are very very nice if i was to pick out one of these two it would probably be the ped smart bar only because of the flavor though the caramel crunch flavors the white chocolate flavor is very good they flavor wise to be honest they're very similar protein the granada has more protein maybe i should have probably got a caramel crunch granada to test it out but obviously i don't think that far ahead i uh i don't really think that far ahead it hasn't uh, affected my life in any way so as usual at our indecisive best on this channel i would recommend both of these both of these are absolutely excellent maybe 10 years down the line uh i might start developing some very uh abnormal and uh, mutated features because of the chemical sweeteners they have in this well, who knows if i'm even gonna live for 10 years so that doesn't really bother me today so as always guys i hope this was helpful uh i hope uh you now base your diet completely off what i've told you today because of course i'm a very nutrition expert you know uh not qualified or anything but i've seen like two or three videos on nutrition i've read like maybe a paragraph or two about it so i'm gonna qualify from harvard in like a week or something maybe uh, Oxford called me up to do a nutrition uh, talk but I said no I'm I have to record the video I'm busy guys maybe later maybe later so I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed and as always double thumbs up for you guys because why not
Hey, you guys are awesome. Now this episode of Fan Reviews is brought to you by the guys over at by the guys over at W4U. This protein is bubbling up. <coughs> W4U is a UK-based company that brings people in to work out for you. Maybe you're watching Netflix on your on your tablet or on your phone or something, and they come in. You just put your arm out like this, and they move it for you. Supersets while you're watching Netflix. Maybe you're drinking tea or something and eating some biscuits with the same hand like this and you want your left arm to get or is this right for you to get jacked while multitasking these guys come in and work out for you maybe you're like me and you like working out arms but hate working out legs you just stretch out your legs like this and they come work out for you check out the website w4u.com.superset.jackedforlife.shredcity. I'm going to be jacked on the beach .gov use code Feyana at checkout to get the Abu Yusuf Abu Yusuf uh, he gives you the most painful supersets use code Feyana at checkout for an extra 30 reps